Yo, what's up, guys? For today's video, we're going to be queuing all three game modes, ones, twos, and threes. We haven't even finished our placements for ones yet. We still have four games left, and I think we're already top 100, which is really good. So, whatever we get, we'll play. Should be a good time. Let's see how it goes. All right, for the first game, we got ourselves Candy against uh, Mendez and Crisp. Let's see how this goes. I'm not sure, if, is Mendez on Endpoint? Is he the Endpoint sub or something? Might be. It's a good first challenge for my teammate. Even though he got beat, it still gave me the ball for free. I'll say that was well played from him. Unfortunately, it should be a goal still. A lot of time to shoot. Well done. Well challenged from them as well. Forced on my flip at a really good time. I still had a very threatening play. Second guy had to jump and he had to expect it to be in, right? He knew it was going to be over his teammate, but he didn't know if it was going to be in or not. And uh, luckily we had a good post bounce there. I'm going to call this. Try to get a good kickoff, hopefully. It's not bad, but he gets full control of this. So my teammate should insta-go. I'll be back if he gets beat. It should be enough for me to win this ball still. Got to be careful here because I can't help my teammates last back for a video. I should just go. Awkward situation, but I know this guy's not going to jump until I go for the ball. So I can kind of play the 50. I don't have to panic for it. I know as soon as I, I make a mistake, he's going to go for it. But if I don't make a mistake at all, and let him come to me, then it's not going to be any issue. Try to bump this guy. Make his life a little more difficult. I'm going to fake the turn here and just go back. I'm going to make him panic a bit. I should have a free ball. Try to play it over him. Should be good for a shot. Can go again for a shot here, fake. Make him panic a bit. I could turn a mid boost. I'll just make him hit again here. Make him flick this. Should be easy for my teammate. Don't even have to commit there. All that is is like my presence, right? And you can do that at any rank, by the way, guys. It's not because I'm a pro. It's not because they're scared of me. At any rank, if you just drive up like that, they're going to throw it away. Especially in lower ranks. They'll make that mistake a lot. Got it over one. He's going to have a save, though. And it should be a goal again. Teammate's a little far back, so it won't be a goal. But it's fun. I'd rather, I'd rather play safe in a situation like that than go too aggro. He might miss this, so I'll play the whiff. I should have just shot it, but it might still work. It does. I thought... He would be able to recover in time, so I didn't want to just shut up shoot, but I could have definitely just shot it. Again, playing safer there is not a bad idea at all. I don't want a full commit for something that could get me scored on, right? No quick for this. If I get beat, it should be okay. It should be back in time, I, I hope. Nice. He did end up getting back in time, which is good. Didn't have a touch here. Alright, everyone's faking each other. I have no boost, so it's going to be really hard to save. Yeah. I have to block the high touch, like, his line toward and I have to block that. My teammate kind of left for their back boost, that's why I left it in a very awkward situation, right? Because normally you want someone to be able to challenge for you, so you don't have one situation that close to your net. You want to cut down that space before that even becomes a thing. Um, so if your teammate does leave like that, then yeah, it ob obviously becomes a very awkward situation. Like this right here, this guy's in a very panicked spot. Played it pretty well. That was the best I could have done to maybe get a goal to that, but that's a good example. And that's another bad example of uh, like just not good spacing between two people. So my teammate just insta went when I wasn't back yet. You should try to wait for me to be a little bit further back. Teeny tiny bit further back. That way there's a little bit of a layer on defense, right? If it gets over him, there's going to be someone behind him. And that's how you should always approach the idea of defense. Try not to go. Try not to full command until you have someone behind you. Watch what they do on defense here. One, first guy challenges. Second guy can wait back. It doesn't matter if that gets over that first guy either. Because look here, I can't really challenge here. That's something you can keep in mind on offense, too, because you can kind of base your plays around what they're going to be doing next, right? That's good. Maybe both of them jump. Teammate should have a free net. Ended up missing, but it is okay. A-okay. Get my time here. Try to bait him in. Let him hit that. It's fine. Try to go again here. Just block the pinch. Don't want to let him have that pinch toward my net, right? It doesn't really matter where it goes off that, but... A little bit awkward. Might be a goal. Yeah. Didn't expect my teammate to get beat there. But it's okay. Stuff like that does does indeed happen. You have to try to be ready to adapt to both situations. You can also look at that as your own fault as well. Like you want to have faith in your teammate, but you also want to be in a position where if they do mess up, because they will mess up a lot, especially in solo queue. Um, you want to be there for it as well, right? And I wasn't there to cover his mistake. That's also my fault in that situation. 
But yeah, all the goals this game, it's a good example of, um, you know, what not to do in terms of challenging. I feel like there's been a lot of situations where there's like way too big of a gap on the challenges. So it's really hard for, um, you know, one of us to follow up on each other's challenge, which is not good. And it's a lot easier to pull that off in threes, obviously, like properly spaced challenges and making sure someone's behind you at all times. In twos, you really got to pay attention to where your teammate's at. Try to kill time for them to get back before you challenge. So look at my teammate's challenge right there, right? Look, look at the situation I'm in now. You don't want to ever be left in a 1v1 for this long with no help. It's going to be really awkward every single time. I did well to, to kill time for them to get back, right? But you try to like avoid leaving your teammate in that situation as much as possible. This is a really tough one to get out of most of the time. Should be fine. Do you see how I wish I like make a touch that's it's lofty enough where I can get back behind my teammate already and help him out again. I don't want to leave him back for too long. I don't want him to potentially make a mistake where he challenges without me being back and I can't help him, right? I don't mind if he wastes all his boosts, bring him to our corner. It's fine. Again, awkward situation where I don't really have that much help, but we got a bit well. I'm not gonna shoot off that because again it's a little bit risky. Let's find the challenge. And I still have my AD boost. Gotta be careful here though. Teammate creeped up a little bit far. Don't wanna get bumped. A lot of time here. Should still get the boost and win this ball. Nice. Gotta be careful. Again, it's happening a little bit too much or I'm definitely lost back for a little bit longer than I should be, but. Notice how every time I'm in that position, I'm trying to kill time for him to get back, right? I'm not going to dive early to the point where it's just going to get a score on for free. I want, I want to try to time my challenge in the right way. So if the team is behind me now, I can go. should force them high, and my teammate should be back well. That's something I'm always looking for. And in threes, that's like honestly the most important thing, I think, these days. When you time that challenge, making sure your teammate's behind you and can get an actual good hit out of it. Stuff like that. I'm not trying to go for a shot off that. I'm trying to beat the first guy. Should be good to turn on now. Trying to block him. Block again. Might be awkward. Hopefully my teammate plays safe here. It's a really good situation to go now. Should have the win. And now he has a 1v1 for free. This is where you should move a little bit faster. Let's try to like take advantage of the 1v1 for a while, but we'll still be okay here. Try to play it over him. Fine. Trying to keep it close is a good play. Stay at midfield here. Close. Good touch. He, he had just a slight enough touch to the side. Keep that out there. Teammate should go just to be annoying. Okay, he's going behind me, so that's my my cue to go now at that point. That's fine. We did a good job with that. Again, this challenge, like look at the problem with what he just did, right? He won the challenge, but he ends up falling for a super long time. Anyway, it's always boost. So I have to play that next touch super passive, or else we pretty much lose full control of like the whole play. If I don't play that next situation super passive like I did there. Pick both of them by not going. Play it off the wall. Play off the wall again. Try to block them. They have a really low boost here. Teammate should go again here. We'll let him hit this. Off the corner for my teammate. Should turn. Plays this. Oh, he can't turn in time. But if he played it right wall to me. If he went back and played it right wall. It would have been perfect play. Probably would have led to a goal to be honest. Played over one, let him hit that, it's fine. Teammate should have for free now. Sort of soft touch. Good demo, it's gonna create some space. I'll play this middle instead of shooting. Teammate wasn't quite ready, but it's fine. I also don't blame him for not being ready because most people in twos really do not pass that. So I do not blame him at all. But yeah, good job to take advantage of that at the end. I have to play very safe in a lot of situations and that's like, it's a really hard thing to to gauge like how to do it properly and i think even i make the mistake sometimes you gotta really be careful in twos not to like full commit or keep yourself too often in like the opponent's half and not get behind your teammate always make sure you try to get behind your teammate and support them so that they can challenge for you and um never really leave too much space where they're 1v2 for too long it happened a lot that game where on both teams there was someone that would go for a challenge and would land super late and then someone would be 1v2 or 1v1 for way too long you always want to have someone layered that can help you out um but either way, good first game, we got the win. So, at the end of the day, all worked out. Let's get into one more, see if we can get back-to-back -back dubs. Let's see how it goes. Alright, we got a sweaty game here for the last game. We got Corrupted G against t Curl and Pan. So, pretty solid lobby. 
both um, really solid twos players are playing against. Not sure how much Gabe actually plays these days, because I know he's, he's a coach now for Rogue. Not sure. He still plays a lot, but I'm sure he'll be solid. Wait for his next touch. Pick them. Try to stay on this, get a flip. Actually, really good save from T-Crawl. It's gonna be gonna be a goal for sure. That was a super risky shot to go for. I feel like okay. My opinion, best bet here if you're Gabe, try to just hit it around. Like try to just hit it to the corner to his left or something. Don't go for a shot, especially if you don't have anyone behind you, right? Unless you know for sure it's a goal. Not the best idea to just try to like YOLO it and just hope it goes in, right? So I fake. Nice, this is a good play. Good patience there. So yeah, I think just the idea of like hitting it around people and trying to just use like your space is really important. See, I hit it to the right there. I didn't go for a shot straight away. And then I opened up an opportunity to like have a free shot, right? Don't try to go for a shot that's not free or not going to be a goal. There's no point. You're literally wasting, you waste your possession and you waste like all the pressure you built up to that, that moment. It's better only to go for a shot if you know for sure it's going to lead to something useful or a goal for sure. That's a good touch around though. That's really smart from Gabe. Well done. I just pop it mid, let him have that's fine. Probably just gonna control. Go for a 50. Really, really good touch from Gabe. Might even be too goal. Close. Don't want to fuck me on that, but I can bump him off now. That's perfect. Good bait of his flick and then a really good bump to get him off the ball. Smart play. I'm not gonna follow that because I still have some boost here. Try to go for Gabe here. It's fine. Let him hit this. Should control this to the corner. Shouldn't go for. I gotta be careful here now. I'm gonna 1v1 for a while. It's a really good save. I gotta be careful though. Not the best bounce for me. A little bit of awkward situation. Oh, I might be tough. I oh, should be good. He threw it away. Hit it back off. Had he went for flipper set there, it would have been really dangerous, I think. Yeah, really, really tough situation. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't have someone behind me there, so I have to just hope. I have to play one of the angles, like one of the situations, right? So I was playing just him, hitting it kind of just forward at me, and he ended up getting a, a good scoop under the ball. He honestly, messed up his first touch pretty badly, and then ended up recovering out of it, which is good of him. Can't really challenge that. Be careful. I'm gonna go for this one though, just in case. That way, he can't go. Bump their third man. I said third man, but just their last man back because it's twos. It's a really good bump to go for though. If you're like coming back, I think bumping that guy is really useful. Gabe doesn't have any boost though, so there's no way we could really create a play out of that. And I have to be careful here too. Better go back wall again. Try to stay on this. I'm gonna get bumped though. Nice, try to stay. Good job. Fortunately, he didn't die. If, if he actually got demo there, it would have probably been really good for us, but... Good patience on the 50. Good block as well. Should be a shot. Close. Nice. That was a really good patience there. This game is uh, going to be a hard one for sure. It's going to be a, a sweaty one. It goes to the very end. Gotta play the situations very smart. Look for the very few opportunities, very few mistakes that we'll be able to capitalize on. It is winnable for sure. Hit over one. No. Oh my god. He misses. It's good. If Gabe just left that, I had like a really good opportunity to score. Like it's a good one, one, but it's fine. I know he didn't have a flip anymore, so it's actually good to go for that. Play one middle. For a shot. Can't really go for this. He crawls gonna be there too quick. Should be able to challenge for me. Nice. Uh, that was actually pretty bad from T Crow. He messed up his teammate. Left him in like a really, really poor spot, but recovered well of it, so that's all you can ask. If you make the mistake, if you make up for it, it's all you can really do, right?
Should be a goal. Nice. Good job. Again, just taking advantage of their mistakes, right? There's been a lot of mistakes from both sides, to be honest. There's been a lot of things. Uh, both sides could be doing better here, but... A lot of these twos games can feel random. I think twos is just one of those very random -y feeling game modes. I don't think they're the best uh, way to practice if you're trying to just get more solid, but it definitely... There's some good and bad to twos, I think. But I think there's more bad in terms of habits that you can create. Because it makes you really selfish. I think a lot of the twos players are very, very selfish. The way they have to play. Because it is smarter to take things solo in twos and to try to pass. You normally get punished really hard when you try to pass in twos. So twos just naturally does make you very selfish. I think it's just something that happens. Unfortunate though. Gabe got killed. That was a good 50 from, from Pan there. Hopefully Gabe can go there. Nice. I thought he would go, so I tried to just play a touch around them, but did a good job to play it safe. He should go for me. It's a challenge, it's fine. Should be dead. Alright, we got an OT here. Let's see, it's all on the kickoff, I think. Not the greatest for us, but I can pop it. I beat one, which is good. I'm not going to go again yet, and then I can go after. It's a good patience. And I got killed. It's actually, I think it's beneficial for me. It spawns me back. Now it's awkward, because Gabe can't actually help me, but it should be okay. A lot of situations today, those, those 1v1s like that. I'm dead again. <laughs> Just chasing demos. We're almost have a thousand points already, holy. A good bump. I'm gonna fake jump here. It's fine, I can go back now. Gabe should just go here. Any any kind of touch that you force him to do is good. Over one. If he goes, it's actually not bad for me at all. I can control up the wall. Unfortunately, both went for the same boost, we're gonna lose pressure. For a second here. Gotta control this, last back for a while. Should be fine. This could be dangerous. Gotta beat him. I'm gonna go again. Actually, it was open for a second. I'm gonna go all the way back. Should take the mid boost and turn for me. Just make him do anything here. It's good. I got dunk, but it's fine. If I bumped him into my net, it was actually huge. Probably gonna be a goal. Honestly, just off the bump. Wouldn't have any help for a while. Just trying to stay on this. I don't need to do anything. Just drive into it. Should go for me. Again, just force any kind of play. Be more than enough. Good job. We almost scored just off of that. Like off of him literally just winning the challenge. That's really good. Let him touch this. Can't shoot off this, but I can maybe leave it for Gabe. I want to try to take this mid boost and just pressure. It's fine. It's actually really good. As long as Gabe can go here, we're good. Nice. He's passed to the left, so I don't know if he'll use it. He actually tried. Surprised. It's pretty rare you see someone try to go for like a mid-pass like that in twos. Especially at this level. I don't disagree with that, I think it can be good. But it's just something you don't see very often. A lot of very awkward uh, situations going on here. Running out of boost slowly. Gotta be careful. It's not looking good for us to be honest. These situations. We're on the the back foot a lot of these. Luckily I read that. I got away with it. There we go. Downside of the mid pass, right? Especially playing someone that's used to defending passes a lot, you're gonna be in a vulnerable position quite often. We had 1230 points. That was a hard one to win. It was a very hard one to win. We we did well though. Didn't make too many mistakes. I think there was a lot of mistakes in general from both sides, like as a team, but individually we didn't make that many mistakes, which is good. That's all you can really ask for. Good games though for today. Definitely hard fought. Two really intense games, to be honest. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is when you guys are watching this, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all on the next one. I love you.